Hello, I'm MK Davis. What you're looking at is uh, some new processing on an old film. This film is, was taken by Orville Nix in Dallas, Texas, and it is a film <clears throat> excuse me, of the uh, John F. Kennedy assassination uh, taken from the opposite side of the street uh, as the more famous Zabruder film. Um, on this film, you know, once it's been stabilized and put through this processing, uh, it, it becomes a lot more dense and richer. Uh, and I filtered it so that the shadows would be bright. All back up in here on the original film was in kind of in shadow and kind of hard, you know, to see. So it's much brighter now. It's very stable. And there's something I want you to look at. In the upper right hand corner right here where my pointer is is circling now as you see the the limo and it's oscillating back and forth but as the limo was traveling the movements right here appear to be following the limo now if you can just imagine drawing a line to the limo when the limo stops and starts back, that's the end of the oscillation. That's the point where the shot was fired. So if you can just kind of see it follow right up to that point. And I have it oscillating so that you could see it well back up in here. By moving back and forth. This is a facade. It's like a, a decorative uh, made of it's made of concrete uh, it's uh it's got these little windows and there's one here one here one here one here and rows of them and this appears to be emanating from out of one of those windows right here circle this window right here also there's a lot of movement in this window up here and right here so something's going on there uh uh, worthy of note and I, I deal in images you know uh, there's all kinds of theories uh, conspiracy theories and the like and they all may be true or not true but I deal in images and so when somebody tells me uh, I did this I did that you know if I see it on YouTube or listen to an interview I, I try to check it against these films and, and this is a very very good copy of the film uh, that was provided me by the Mr. Nix's uh, family. And so, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I, I, uh, I do everything I can, you know, to extrapolate, you know, all the information that this film has in it. Somebody is behind this facade right here. I can blow that up a bit. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, you know it. Wow. These images are very dense. We'll see if my my program will run it at that at that size. Sometimes it won't. Yeah, it's going to have problems. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it'll surprise you. Nope, nope, it won't do it. No surprises. So what I can do is to just crop out that part. I 
Or I can do this right here. I already had it done. Let's try this right here. Now there's that same little window right there. If you look right in here, you'll see a head raise up. This is in the adjacent window. See some movement down here too. There's plenty of movement. Just within these three uh, uh, slots or windows that are in that facade. So once again, you can go back to the other one. There we go. I'm going to take that out of there. Once again, right in here, you'll see that, that individual's head come up right there. Right at the end of my pointer. You'll see more movement right in here. And then you see right in here in this window right here what appears something following the limo. It moves with it. Interesting stuff. Thank you for your time.